All right, tonight I'm doing some bullhead fishing again in my favorite culvert. I got here pretty late and it was already getting dark, so I already caught some bluegill to fish with in this culvert. Now I'm on the other side of the road now, which is the swamp side. So maybe I can catch some more quicker. And as you can hear in the background, there's some geese back there that are not happy with me. And I'm gonna cut up this little guy and see if I can catch some bullheads. I guess I'll show you this real quick. I rigged this up in a hurry, but it seems to work pretty good. Just a knot, a bead, a really small slip bobber, and I'm using a big swivel as the sinker. And then a little leader line to a really tiny hook. And I use big red worms as bait. And this is four pound line on here, and man, it is hard to rig up when it's getting dark outside. That's the Akuma Seamar C10 combo, and this is the Akuma Seamar C30 combo. This is not what I used last time. Those were size 40 combos. This one has six pound line on it. This is basically a trout and crappie rod that I'm gonna use for bullheads. One knot team catfish double action circle hook. I've got a tiny sinker. I don't even know what size it is in your typical Carolina rig. And this is six pound line that's connected to, I think I put 10 pound braid on here. I'm not sure, I don't remember. And I got my little rig wrap light on here. I really like this thing. Last time I took it fishing, I actually lost the rubber piece out of the second one I have. So now I only have this one that works. I may have to buy some more or sweet talk rig wrap into sending me a couple more. When I'm fishing for bullheads, I like using really small pieces of bait. I do the same thing when I'm fishing for channel cats. I think I got a good setup on this side because this big bush is blocking my light from hitting the water where I have my bait. So hopefully the light won't scare the fish away. Now I may try to catch a bluegill or two while I wait on this to get hit. Bluegills make good flathead bait too. So I'm going to keep these guys. That's what I'm going to use these bullheads for, is flathead bait. I don't know if that was me or if that was a fish. I think that was me. It's really hard to see the bobber this late at night, even with a light. Oh wow, my line broke, huh. that was a bite, and something broke my line. Well then, I'm going to have to re-rig this. I did notice the bluegill stopped biting, so maybe we got other fish in the area. I think the leader line snapped at the braid. <laughs> Oh, probably blame me on that one. The knot failed. So, I got this rigged up, ready to rock and roll. And as you just saw, there's a beaver out there. I don't think he was the one that bit my line in half, but you never know. Their home is on the other side of this culvert. Although there might be something back over in there. I don't know yet. They basically made this swamp culvert their own home. Now I know there's not many swamps in Tennessee, but I'll call this a swamp because it is a swamp. I 
I guess I can call it an urban swamp culvert. That'll make a good video title. If this beaver doesn't attack me. He really doesn't want me here. Another small piece. Maybe I can catch something. You know, I actually heard wheels squealing and what sounded like a wreck at the end of this road. Maybe that's where all these first responders are going. And this road goes nowhere. It's a dead end. It's a four lane highway that goes nowhere. At least until they finish it. I definitely have a lot going on. I definitely have a lot going on with this video. An angry beaver, sirens, and something broke my line. Maybe I can scare him off with my flashlight. Where are you at, beaver? Nope. You gotta be kidding me. What am I doing wrong tonight? Oh. It'd be nice to have the bail set. He's still there. <laughs> oh, and I got it wrapped up around the end of the pole. Doing really good tonight. At least I caught my first bullhead. There you go. Nice little bullhead. <coughs> Trying to get him on camera. Nice bullhead. Maybe I'll use this as a thumbnail. Getting thumbnails on a night video can be hard. That is an urban swamp culvert bullhead. Let's see if I can catch a few more. Let's unwrap this around the end. Here we go. And this time I will remember to close the bale. Right, kind of a smaller piece. We'll see how it works out. Another one. All right. A little bit bigger. Hooked right in the corner of the mouth with these team catfish hooks. Another little bullhead. Whoa. I gotta be careful. These guys' fins are sharp. More flathead bait, if I'm lucky. I gotta keep my bait on that one. There's a lot of algae in this water, too. Whoa. I hear a big car revving its engine and running around. And cop cars running around, too. So I think someone's playing cat and mouse with the cops. What a crazy night. I just now checked to see if you guys could see the light and not only could you not see the light, but I think it's having issues picking up anything. So I'm hoping all that footage came out. And I'm gonna grab another battery for this light so it can be a little bit brighter. It's one of the older GoPro lights you get on Amazon and it's not that bright. Of course, right as I change the light's battery, I get another bullhead. Getting a lot more tonight than I did the other night. Ow! <laughs> this guy got mud all over him. Nice bullhead. I think I can use this bait one more time.
It's like everything shut off. No fish, but frogs are active. I'm guessing these bullheads like to swim around in groups, so they've gone under the road to the other side, and now they're at the beaver dam picking off whatever has got caught on the beaver dam. At least I've been able to catch a couple of bullheads. That one little bitty bluegill that I cut up has caught three bullheads. I would probably be able to catch quite a few more if they were in the area. And I only wanted to be out here maybe two or three hours, and it's been, it's been three hours. Time does fly when you're having fun. These bullheads are fun to catch. And it is actually starting to get a little bit nippy out, a little bit cold, so I think I'm going to call it. It was a good night. Caught a few bullheads to add to my bait tank. I've got a couple of bluegill in there as well. One of these days, I'll catch them and I'll take them out on my boat and see if I can get a big flathead with them. I'm not sure when I'm going to get to use them. I may wait till the end of May because that's when the flatheads start getting ready for spawn. And if there's one fish a flathead does not like during the spawn, it's bullhead catfish. Now, if you like me doing these bait catching videos, please hit that thumbs up and leave a comment below. I will continue to show myself catching bait like bluegills and bullheads. And I might try other fish. And I want to thank you for taking your time out of your day to watch my video. I really appreciate it. Hopefully this bait will net me a big flathead in the future.